the names I've just read are 40. I have another, um, it's one, two, three, four, five, 14, another 14, who are directors and proprietors of business entities. There is Ann W. Ngirita, Phyllis Jerry, Catherine M. Y., Anthony W. Wamiti, Peter W. Kimani, James Thwita, Yvonne Gugi, Jeremiah Ngirita, Lucy Ngirita, Andrin G. Nyambura, Catherine N. Kamuyu, Sarah Muguru, Samuel Kanai, James Katululu. Business entities, Anwan, Anwau Investments, Jewanga Investments, Ark Road Holdings Limited, Kunjiwa Enterprises, Ameri Trade Limited, Giwako Enterprises, Jerry Kathy Enterprises, Fastlink Supplies Limited, Kalabash Food Supplies Limited, and Erasat Era Sats <laughs> Enterprises. Um, uh, the public servants will be charged with several offenses, including conspiracy to commit an offense of corruption, willful failure to comply with applicable procedures and guidelines relating to the management of public funds, a breach of trust by a person employed in the public service, willful neglect to perform official duty, abuse of office, fraudulent acquisition of public property, fraudulent making payment from public revenues for goods not supplied. My office is preparing to have the suspects arraigned in court to answer to the charges tomorrow. In the first phase, uh, investigations revealed that there was no procurement undertaken before monies were paid out. So there was no procurement whatsoever um, in these investigations, and th this is our findings. In phase two of the investigations, the DCI will focus on additional areas, including companies or entities that benefited from the fraudulent payment and banks that were complicit to the offenses. In addition to prosecution, we are looking at recovering the proceeds of crime, as well as establishing the tax status of the companies and individuals involved in the crimes. In the meantime, several bank accounts that the funds were channeled through have been frozen. <clears throat> My office is working with the DCI and the Assets Recovery Agency in that regard. Uh, as the inves investigations continue, more suspects are likely to be charged. Um, I shall also appoint four special prosecutors to work with my office. I urge all suspects who are in hiding to surrender themselves to the DCI or the nearest police station. The ODPP will continue to work with other agencies to ensure effective prosecution of all corruption cases to safeguard public funds. I urge any person with the information that may assist in the prosecution of the above to vol volunteer the said to my office. The information shall be treated with utmost confidentiality. But this is not to say that we don't have sufficient evidence. We do. We do have sufficient evidence in this, in this, in this particular case. So I will take questions if there are any. <clears throat> no? No questions? <laughs> A question. Yeah. Uh, is the, uh, my name is Stephen Leto from Citizen TV. Uh, my first question is, is the DPP uh, running after the banks that uh, were used to channel the funds? And number two, maybe the update on the Kenya power scandal. Okay, in relation to the banks, um, yes, we've asked for investigations to be undertaken. There are rules. Um, the banks are supposed to report um, any suspicious transactions uh, and they're not allowed to allow um, cash withdrawals of above a million or 999 as you know uh, but we have noted that in this case there were such instances uh, and we're investigating whether they were reported to the appropriate authorities um, but yes we are, we are investigating the banks uh, KPLC is still at its infancy, the investigations. Um, um, so I don't have much on that. But uh, I think I've given the directions for investigations. Maybe a follow up on the bank's uh, question. Uh, how many banks are on the DPP's radar? And if 
probably you could mention them to us. And number two, um, how soon do we expect this to come to an end? Investigation? I think, you know, investigations are still ongoing. I don't want to comment on that. Um, I will do the same once uh, it's, they're complete. Yeah. Yes, can I, can I please ask everyone to just ask one question? Okay. With, yeah. I'm Seth Olalio, NTV. In regards to those you said you suspect some are uh, in hiding, could you just reveal, like, quantify how many are in hiding? Okay, but um, again, the, you know, we have the detectives on the ground. What we have is so far we have 20 people who have been arrested. The arrest began in earnest early in the morning. <clears throat> um, and uh, I think we'll know by the close of business um, how many are, are going to be in hiding. But uh, I thought it was an important statement to make, um, to ask people to come forward. Yes, eh Kitu cha kwanza. Yeah, sorry. Nasema wajua hii taa inaniumiza boss. <coughs> um, hakuna ununuzi wowote ambao ulifanyika. Um, na tutaenda, tutaenda hata mbali zaidi ikiwa ita, itabidi tuende hivi. Kwa haya haya kampuni hizi kumi tunazo tumeangalia kutoka mwaka 2013. Na, na nafikiria uchunguzi huu ni kwa Kiswahili sijui tutasemaje lakini ni pending bills ambayo ilikuwa tangu mwaka 2013 na tumeenda you know tumeangalia mpaka kutoka wakati huo mpaka mpaka wa leo na na kasi hii ambayo umeanza nayo bwana je tutaendelea hivi ama ni kwa wakati huu pekee atakapo kwa kinyume kile kile kuna nyingine ya but if I should be in the middle of the city, I'm going to be in the the I mean, he. Wajua. Um, ufisadi ni kitu ambayo me, meumiza sana nchi hi. Uchumi, meumiza um, sekta mbali mbali. mbali. Um, na nadhani ni kitu ambayo itabidi, itachukua mda kwanza, kuweza kutekeleza. Na sio mambo ya leo na kesho. Kwa hivyo nataka kuhakikishia wa Kenya na nyinyi mlioko hapa ya kwamba hii itakuwa ndio mwenendo mpya ya vita dhidi ya ufisadi. Shukra. Mr. DPP, there is the issue of uh, National Series and Produce Board and the Kenya uh, Pipeline Company. How far have you gone in terms of uh, investigation? Um, I've asked for updates on, on the same. So I'm, 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 I'm awaiting the updates. And I think I, we, we did post in, in, our, in our Twitter handle that um, I just recently asked for an update from the ESCC and the concerned agencies. So yes. Uh, you, you are, your predecessor also started a big war against corruption in September, and a number of the suspects were quitted by the court because of the lack of sufficient evidence. Do you think you have a watertight case against the suspects? I think so. Yeah. Yes. My name is Leonard. Uh, the list you've uh, given us, uh, uh, you said you are, you are investigating 468 million, and the whole uh, the whole uh, scandal is around eight, nine billion. So what happens? I said this is the first phase. So this is the first phase. Um, there are several departments within the NYS 
Uh, there are several methods of procurement within the NYS. These are companies that we looked into because we needed to move with speed, uh, taking into consideration that we wanted to preserve evidence. Um, and at, a, at certain points, we did have difficulties in accessing some of the evidence, and we felt that uh, we needed to move forward because we had sufficient evidence uh, uh, to, to, to go ahead and prosecute. So we are going to divide this. As, I, as I've said, um, there's the issues of the, of, of the banks, uh, but there's also the issue of doing an in-depth analysis, and we are going to bring on board more experts to, to help us with the forensic analysis of NYS and the payments that were made. Uh, we are looking into, and I think you have seen, uh, the IFMI system itself and the problems that might be there, uh, and maybe how best we can address the loopholes that, that, that exist. Um, in this particular cases, these companies um, were paid these amounts of 468, uh, roughly maybe 500, if we, if we round, them, round them up, uh, 500 million. They used some of this money to then do legitimate business. We are looking <coughs> even into that. Uh, because you cannot purport to have uh, ended up doing legitimate bu business by using proceeds of crime. Um, so the investigations have just begun. And this is the first phase. Um, and definitely not then. Yes. Uh, well, maybe this is my, my last question. Uh, this scandal appears to be dragging way back into the 2014, 2015, and the 2015, 2016 financial years. Where does the former office that was being led by uh, Anwar Guru, Peter Mangiti, and Nelson Bidinji, the former DG, where do they feature in your investigations? Um, these investigations were about pending bills that were made during the tenure of um, the PS uh, Lillian Mall. Um, these other cases are before court. Uh, we have appealed on some of them, isn't it? Uh, and um, they're, they're, not, they're not concluded yet. <coughs> and should we? Is that, is that OK? Give them a copy. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a copy of, of the statement. So thank you very much.